You're listening to People Think About It. Delve into the world of relationships, business, and politics with hosts Lamar Clark, Dorshall Clark, and Dominique Hagler on People Think About It, where thought-provoking discussions abound. Hey, 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 welcome back to People Think About It. We got a special guest in the house today, Mr. Bob. And once again, we're going to finish up our uh, third part, I guess, on uh, dating and and the expectations of dating and, and, and what people think and how people have been treated out here. So we're going to start our conversation because we're just having good com- um, com- I mean, commentate, I mean, you know what I mean, conversation before we are, uh, you know, really hooked up. So we're going to, we're going to keep the, the conversation flowing. Um, and let's, let's, let's start off with our guest, uh, Mr. Bob, Bob, uh, Bob is an insurance agent. He's a great dad. He has uh, three sons, uh, and Bob does some big things. So we want to start off with what you feel about the dating scene here in Atlanta. Well, I feel like the dating scene has passed me by. I am on some dating sites, and uh, keeping up with what's hot and what's not is is a little bit overwhelming for me. So what's what's hot on dating scene? I mean, on the dating. Well, as we were talking about earlier, is the um, the restaurant thing and who's expected to pay and people, whether it's men or the woman, taking advantage of the person because someone someone asks, "Would you like to go out?" is is a bit overwhelming and it's kind of out of control. Right, and I and, and you know because my feedback is, I always say, if you ask, you pay. You know, so. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, because I haven't been on a dating scene in a while, but it seems like it's kind of rough out there. But, um, we was talking earlier and Miss Dominique was saying that, you know, we got to get beyond that, you know, the restaurants and the going out for drinks and everything. And when you're out there on a the dating scene to get to know the person you're going out with. So let's hear a little bit from you, Miss Dominique. Yeah. So, you know, just to kind of bring it up to speed on what we were talking about before we got uh, went live, um, you know, I feel like when it comes again to know someone, you know, we don't have to go and sit, you know, at Seasons 52 or all of these things. Like, we can go to the coffee shop. We can, you know, go walking. We can, if we're really, truly trying to get to know each other. And I feel like, you know, even with the Cheesecake Factory situation, she didn't know what that man intense were. You know, he could have graduated her to, you know, a, a dinner out of town or a dinner on the water or on a boat or a yacht or whatever the case may be. But because I don't feel like the intentions were pure, this is what we are. And I feel like when we have situations like that and we have these situations where these lists are created about what kind of man you need to stay away from and what kind of woman you need to stay away from, we are pretty much drawing a wedge or, you know, placing a wedge between the man and the woman at this time. Like, we're struggling. And I'm the marrying type. So I'm like, I'm trying to I'm trying to get married. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not in a dating scene as well, but I, I think that you have to get to know people. Like, I mean, what about going to the grocery store? You see somebody, you strike up a conversation. Mm-hmm. Or you're at the gym and you strike up a conversation. Because I would, would prefer to meet somebody that's doing the same things that I'm doing. Well, yeah, like, is that I like, prefer to do that as well. But and how is that? Like, I mean, I know you go to the gym. Working, so that's what got me finally committed me to getting one of those one, one of those dating sites. But then, Bob, what about the the time that I gave you a a, a lead on a lady and you was like, nah, this, she's not my my. I mean, does she have to be your particular body type? For you why, to like her? Why did you bring that up? Because, I mean, do you have but options? I, I, see, I see nothing wrong right. with that because, I mean, if you like a certain body type, you like a certain look or what have you. Just keeping it real. I, I mean, know, but yeah, you got me. <laughs> I, I got something for you. Like, give me more time out there. You know, yeah, like, but I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, you like who you like. I think all of us, human nature, we have a certain type. You know, you hear it all the time. Or preference. Right. And you you hear it all the time. You know, you see somebody and they're just like, oh, he got a type or she just got a type. I mean, so some people might not, you can call it a standard, but somebody might not fit into what you want. But I think you should look beyond the looks because I think as women, we don't, I mean, women, I mean, men, I feel like men are visuals uh, beings and women, we want to know the depth of you. Like, and you may not be that attractive, but you have some kind of uh, something about you that draws us to you, whether it's humor or, 
the way you carry yourself or the fact that you really care about yourself. I mean, it's got to be deeper than just looks, right? I think, right, Bob? No, go ahead. Um, you could have gave that lady no, a chance. Looks <laughs> are very important to me. How you look and how we communicate, that's my big two. So, and I do think, even with women, looks are important as well. They are. I think once you... They get to certain levels, other things that can come in mm-hmm. to help how you feel about someone. But initially, it the how you look to me is important. Yeah, because I, I think that's the Bob. first thing. I'm here. That's the first thing. I mean, like you were saying, you know, you could be in a grocery store or somewhere like that. Well, someone approach you because they like the way you look. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and so you may fit their type of what they're looking for. So... But what I mean, if I'm at the grocery store and it's like, oh, he's, I can tell he must be making spaghetti tonight. He got the ground beef, he got the pasta, he got the wine, he got the bread. He probably got a girlfriend. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, yeah, he got a girlfriend. Or, or, or he's entertaining somebody already. Something is happening, okay. yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, That's a good point, though. Yeah, I mean... You can find so let's let's jump to the dating site thing because um, I've had my share and it it had got to a point where I was just like you know what I'm gonna just go on eHarmony and you know you got to pay for that you know I, <laughs> I, I tried the the Bumble and the Tinder and the, it's just it's it didn't work um, so I did eHarmony for a while and I did find matches however. I didn't like them. You know, I feel I, I'm like old school. Like I want to write the letter and pass it around in class. Like I'm, I'm there. Like that. I want to go to a house party with my friends and I meet someone. And I, you know, I want to have that genuine connection. I feel like it's hard. Dating is hard now. So, so let me ask you guys this because you guys are out on the dating scene or was out on the dating scene. Do you think that it's better to meet someone through a friend or meet somebody online? I I like meeting somebody through someone else. I agree. Yeah. But then Bobby didn't like her. But, 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 still, but that's the one, but you still, oh, oh, I remember. But I didn't like her from the beginning. Uh-oh. Tell me, oh, so you didn't give her a chance. I, I wasn't attracted to her from the beginning. So if you're not attracted, I mean, you, know, I mean, you, you, you no, say but that, but in the same token, <laughs> if you're not attracted to somebody from the beginning, you're not going to give them a chance. I didn't either. even meet her, though. Exactly. Because she could have like had something on the inside that he could've... didn't like her, though. You can't make him you like her. That. I mean, that's the problem I'm going through now. With the, the okay. You can be beautiful, but then we start talking mm-hmm. and I'm pulling teeth. Yeah. So you have to you have to be easy to talk to. Because that's his thing. He like he's a mm-hmm. conversator. He like to com- He well, like to I'm, talk. I'm not a conversator, but I feed off of their energy. Mm-hmm. I, so I'm it not brings sit up there and talk all day on the phone unless you're bringing me the conversation. Then I'm good. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he ain't 17 and he ain't gonna sit there and breathe. And you okay? No, okay. I'm okay. All right, what you doing? You I like me. Okay, Bob. I'm with Bob. I'm with Bob. The communication. I like is to the be key. able to call you at two o'clock. Hey, I'm just checking on you. I want to see what was up. And you might have something to say. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you don't, you know I'm thinking about you, and I'm gone. I'm off exactly. Is it, I'm kind of that guy. I'm, I'm kind of that guy that, you know, like sometimes my wife will call me in the middle of the day, and I'm out getting my hustle on and stuff like that, and she might say something, and she said, boy, why are you being so short? Because my mind is somewhere else. My mind is there. But I do appreciate you called and checked on me, and I respond, hey, you all right? And then... I'm gone, you know, so I understand that because I, I think that even dating, marriage or something, you have to have a connection. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a connection, I mean, you can meet somebody and, you know, like how you and I talked, Dominique, about the sermon, of, you know, a mm-hmm. spirit. You could talk to somebody for five minutes and say, no, nah, this ain't going to work. Mm-hmm. You know, this ain't, you know, it, it's just like uh, share your experience about what you was telling me when you pulled up in your van. <laughs> All right, so I met this lady online, and uh, I, I can't think of a name. But anyway, we we decided to go eat um, at Fridays, and uh, I came up. I had a, a van. My my anyway, <laughs> it's not important what happened to my other car, but I drove my van to Fridays. She must have saw me 
to get out the car. <laughs> and that's an old van. <laughs> and she saw me get out of the car, and she got out, and she said, she looked at me, and she said, is that your van? And I, I walked, and I it just clicked on me. I'm like, and she was looking at it, I said, we don't have to go in here. We can leave now. I said, you ain't not going to talk about my car. <laughs> and she just bust out loud. And it turned out to be a great date, but right. she she was... She didn't like the fact I got out of all oh, van. She that, gave her a chance. At least you gave her a chance. Well, no, but I corrected her, and she couldn't. She was just like, I, I shouldn't have probably did that. But yeah. We had the best time. But 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 again, like you were saying about you, he didn't give her a chance. Well, she was getting ready. She had already prejudged him because he was driving a van. Yeah, she, yeah. she, you know, he no might, money. He might have no been money. He mm-hmm. might have been. He might have been a guy that got a Bentley or Maybach at the house. And he just drove the van because I'm gonna I'm gonna feel your vibes. Are you? Because I, I I'm like this. Be with me because you like me, not because for what I can do mm-hmm. or whatever. Because what I can do, if I like you, I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. You you like you said earlier when we before we got on on the mics. If you like it, you are gonna do it because I like you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it's just I'm just gonna do it. Right. You know what I mean? Rather than I got to prove to you, I can do this. I can take you here. I can take you there. Well, I think, man, you had that conversation too, Lamar, because um, before I met Lamar, I was hanging out with a girlfriend. We used to go walking at the park. Um, I don't know the name of the park we was at, but this guy was jogging. and We was walking. He was jogging. We stopped. We looked at each other. We looked again. We, You want to go on a date? Sure. Okay, I went on the date with him. It was cool. We went to PF Chains or something like that, and... Then he's like, well, I'm living in a garage right now. So automatically I was like, "Mm -mm." (laughs) mm-mm. He lives in a garage. (laughs) So I talked to Lamar about that, and he said, well, it wasn't that you probably didn't give him a chance. It's just that he wasn't where you wanted him to be at that time. So do you disregard somebody based on what they have, like the van you had or whatever? He had a car, though. He had a, I mean, he had, okay, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example, uh, okay. a, a situation. <clears throat> so I was recently talking to this gentleman, and you know everything was going great. We were going out, we were having fun, we were talking every day. It was going for about a month, and so I just I started to realize, like you know, I've never I've been to your house, but I've never come inside. You know, so now it's kind of odd. And I know his, you know, at one point his brother and the sister in law were living there with the kids because they had just you know they were going through something, I guess, with their home or whatever. And so I. At this time, I'm like, well, you know, why have I never come inside? And then I also had to ask him, like, well, why are you always catching an Uber? Because, you know, the first time I met you, you had a car. And now every time we go out, you are coming out of an Uber. Okay, fine. I don't know the situation. So he tells me, oh, well, the sister got the car, blah, 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 blah. And then when I asked about the how, the apartment, he's like, well, you know, I was putting him into depression and, you know, he, um, he didn't have no furniture and right now his money is all over the place and he can't get his furniture out of storage. And it was just way too much for me because in my mind, I'm like, why are we trying to date? Like you're taking me out on a hundred dollars, $150, like. You right. should save that money and get your furniture out. And exactly. then maybe, we, you know, I would, I would rather you come to me when you're ready. And I'm not saying you got to be, oh, you got to have a Jaguar. You got to have you got to have a house. I'm not saying that, but it got to make sense. You can't be out here dating me and your priorities are not taken care of. And that's right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm out. That, I'm that's going. a good point, though, because you show me that you don't prioritize. Yeah, but what about right. if he if you could help him? I'm not but, helping but, but him. But why, why, why would I go into a situation of I, helping yeah, somebody who's not, not even that. trying to help themselves? Yeah, I, that's, I'm not doing that. I, I can't do that. that you ain't trying sense. to help yourself. Don't look for me to You are it. taking me, I yeah, you're met. taking me out. Why? And I, yeah. I, you know, I feel for you, but here's the thing. You should not be out here dating. You should take that money and invest it in getting your stuff out of storage, getting your car out the shop or wherever it was at. This is where you need to invest your money. Not into me right now. I, agree, I appreciate 100%. it. Yeah, that was good. Right. That's but, good. but see, good then a, a, a man should want a woman like that. That saying, hey. Oh, yeah, instead he of in, by the way. He in, did once yeah. you told him that. Instead of, instead of, <laughs> in, see. Well, being mad. Yeah. <laughs> instead of investing all this money into try to impress me, because I, I, I tell my friends all the time, you know, when you get into that mode of, 
these fancy restaurants trying to like some I, I got a friend of mine, he go rinse fancy cars because he wanna make them really but my thing is this, you do that, you gotta keep that up. You gotta keep that up, yeah. So why do it if you can't keep it up? Because eventually the truth gonna be told. Mm-hmm. And I, I in that situation I actually realized what it was and why he was going so hard. Um, so I you know, I'm not gonna put all my business out there, but because of who I am, you know, and you know what you know, you know who I am. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. so people always see this big dollar sign behind that. And so they will do anything. I, I know when I was in a high school, I had this boy and his parents was like pushing him on me. Oh, you need to date her because you know who, who she's related to. Oh, blah, yeah. Blah. Oh, yeah. And so it's, it's always been this thing, especially if they know they right. just, they will do anything. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> so the motive may not even be really you. Yeah, it's you think I got you know right. I got I got to be yeah. who you're connected to. Right. Right. right, right. I try to get out who I am on paper as quick as I can. I let people know I got three boys, and one of those son of a guns is nine. Right. I, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you that. How is it that you know when you're out on the dating scene, this to you to dominate mm-hmm. when? Because that's another equation that's asking when you got children. So, do you do you try to date someone that has young children so they can kind of understand your situation better, or do it depends? I'm yeah. not dating nobody with a child under the age of five. Well, I take that back. In that in that baby stage, no, y'all just had that baby. That relationship is fresh. Y'all not healed. Mm-mm. I don't want no person. <laughs> Dominique, what about nine? I mean, I don't do nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. But no, I, I truly do not. I don't. Like, uh, I'm not doing the baby stage. I'm just not. Uh, you still beefing with your baby mama. You know, y'all going through things. Y'all probably still. No. Yeah. No. I get that. So, 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 Bob, this is a question that's thrown out there for you as a man. Do you feel as though even doing the online dating or meeting some? Do you feel like you're pressured to impress them to to a certain degree? Do you feel like you pressured for that from that perspective? No, I don't. No, I don't feel pressure. Do you feel like you gotta keep up with the rest of the guys? Because I see guys they be paying, man, and but I know their sole purpose of paying. Mm. I think I get frustrated before I worry about what somebody else is maybe doing I, because I sense pattern. Right. So I'll get frustrated about where it's going um, and upset based on where I think it, where I thought it would go. So I'll get frustrated before I do anything else. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. So, so you, your, your whole intention is on a dating scene is to find a mate? Would you say? Yeah, to settle down with one person. Yeah. Most do you have the fear? Do the, today's time, are people having the fear of being alone? I or even just, settling down. A lot of people don't want to. Everybody is. There is no real, like, I want to find love. Like, I want love. Like, nobody's in that headspace. It's, can you pay my bills? What can you do for me? You look good enough to have cute kids. That kind of thing. It yeah. is very mm. shallow and surface. Wow. There is no, I, I want to find my person where we can journal together and we can just be free and get to know one. We're, we, we are not there. Do you there. ever see on the, um, on the profiles, they say, um, not sure of my dating goals? Or trying to figure out my dating goals. Yes. I, I couldn't stand when I saw that. But now, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out my dating goals. <laughs> hey, hey, but let me ask you this. What kind of stuff or what kind of things do you put in your dating profile that you feel like would draw Good someone yeah. to you? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know what's in my profiles anymore. I put, I've got three kids. Okay. Um, I think one of them I put the ages. I can't remember. But I thought that was important. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you put how long you've been single? Or is that a question? How long no, you've been single? No, divorce. Yeah, uh, I think so I've divorce. Put divorce five years. I think I've done that. Because I know, I know before I met my wife and stuff, and when I had tried those days, I used to read people's profiles, and they tell you what they like, they don't like. And I used to tell people, 
you, you just profile telling me everything about yourself. I had a, a the wrong motive. I already know. Oh, you like flowers? I'm coming with flowers. If you like to do this, I'm coming with that. I think that sometimes you meet people. That's part of the conversation and getting to know who who I am. You know, don't put it all out there and expose yourself because you got a different type of person out there. Like you say, Dominic, you got people out here that that they don't they don't. They don't even know what love is. You know what I mean? But you know what? You have people, oh, I love nature. Okay, well, you love nature, and you put that in your profile, right? Well, I tell you what, I want to meet. Let's meet out the park. Oh, I don't do parks, but you said you love nature. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like even when you are making your profile, because I know I'll say, you know, I'm a mommy of a princess. That's who I am. Um, You know, I'm not coming here to play no games. This is this is ideally what I'm looking for. I'm not here for the uh I'm not looking for the poly thing, so don't come with me, don't come to me with that. I'm that is not, you know. So not giving it all away. I'm not telling about a body I like flowers. Okay. We gonna have that conversation one on one. But the basic things that will either say yes or no, for you when you read my profile, yes, I am gonna put it. I have a child. Yeah, I mean you know? I, I think that's that's, that's a, number one. That's for a me. turn off. When you're looking at someone else's profile, what? No, his turn right. off. For what you? Oh, what's the turn off for me? Oof, I haven't looked at no profiles in a minute. But um, when I was swiping, um, <laughs> did you go left or right? <laughs> I, you know, I would. The first thing would be the pictures. I'm gonna say that first because I'm looking at the pictures and I'm just like, okay, these are I'm these. This is not recent, you right. know, like, this. so I'm looking at that and I'm looking at what kind of pictures, how are you dressed? Um, you know, I see a lot of the guys on there, they got, you know, cigarettes all in their mouths and it's just, it's giving not for me. Mm. And then I'll see the ones that's in the soups and those are the ones that I'm going to click on. Mm. And now I'm looking at your occupation. Okay. Have you been to school? What do you do? Um, but anybody that's saying anything crazy about, you know, Oh, I'm out. You know, like the poly thing is big, and I mm. that is like one no, of the things that I just that. I gotta I have to get away from that. But um, I don't know. I don't think I get turned off too easy. But usually it's the pictures first before it's like the profile because I look at the picture and I'm automatically like, it's enough. So what's the, what what is the turn offs for you, Bob, in a profile? I do not like when they're on there telling us what they're not gonna do. Mm. Like, give me an example. Yeah. Stand what they. I don't. Don't come to me if you this. Don't if, if oh if you don't lease if you don't make six figures <laughs> if you, know you, if you don't, don't do that. I, it makes me gag. I I can't. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, can't no. even decide if I want to swipe you because <laughs> the profile is jacked up. But anyway, that's yeah, 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 I, don't right. I, mean. I just think that it's probably best to meet somebody who knows somebody. Like mm-hmm. I, I mean, this instead of doing it on social media or profiles like that or. Whatever, I would want a friend to say, I got a friend that I think you would like. Mm-hmm. Rather than, or me personally, because I'm a people person, I'm going to talk to a lot of people in my goings and comings. And a lot of people, the first thing was send me a picture. Uh huh. Send me a picture. <laughs> well, no, I, you already see me. I'm no, I'm, I'm saying like, the friend. If, 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 if oh. you had a friend and you was trying to introduce Bob to your friend, Bob was going to send me a I did. I yeah. did that with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob's going to send me a <laughs> He's going to say, send me a picture. Third time he said something about that. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't think you gave her a chance. But, but, but. And, and then, you know what? I I, my girlfriend who gave me the picture, who told me who she was, said, the guys that I know at this age, they got pot bellies. They ain't in shape. Why but, are but, all but let me tell you killer? something. Let me tell you something about a, a, a man. A man can have a pot belly, but he don't want somebody got pot belly along with him. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm gonna be honest. Lamar, yeah, but you—you <laughs> you are a hundred percent correct. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just I, I, see one thing about I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real about stuff. But I'm gonna just tell you that you know we was having this conversation one time, and what people have to realize this, and I'm gonna tell you why it's so hard for women. Women have to fi- find a mate or significant other while they're young and youthful. Because as they get older and don't exercise, don't do the, they they take a lot of cosmetics and try to bring back that youth through that through that cosmetic, right? Where a man 
becomes distinguished as he gets older. You know, he has that little black and gray going on and, you know, clean himself up. And I mean, put the little smelly smell on her. He becomes more distinguished. And, and even him being more distinguished, younger women are attracted to him, you know? So that's why I think that sometimes it's harder for women. But in today's society, women are so daggone picky, I don't even know if they can find a man. Well, you know, I was on social media today, and this one lady said, I I don't understand why these old these young girls trying to get these old men. They're making y'all look old. No, because they, they're making these young girls look old by being with an older well, guy. Well, no, no it, it's I, just like Dominique said. They're looking for somebody to pay their bills. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, it depends on what you like. Right. I mean, y'all know. You yeah. Know, I was with an older guy, and I had to kind of, you know, I did what I did, but... I felt like I was bringing him youthfulness, and he enjoyed it. It was oh, not, yeah, a, that you know, yeah, yeah and, so. and, that, and that's true because some younger women bring older guys youthfulness. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like my buddy, you know, what, what my buddy rest his soul. But like when I met him, he was he was a corporate guy, you know, straight up and down. He he basically wore the same thing. Then when he got married, he got married to a younger lady that was twenty years younger than. Him. And she got this joke away in sneakers without uh, without uh, <laughs> socks and sneakers without shoestrings and all that. You know, like the young people. He w- he would have never, ever done that. That's not who, you know, put him in jogging suits. He wearing shirts that got, you know, this, that, and other. I mean, she changed that about him. But I thought it was a good thing. But it was something that he had to adjust to. But... If he had an older woman, woman he would have stayed just like he, you know. That's just, true. And I think that sometimes the youthfulness is good for everybody. That's funny. I'm a sneakerhead, so that's that's how I dress. That's how I feel good. Right. Mm-hmm. But some people look at that like you, you this old, and you still wearing that. Shouldn't you start to become more right. concerned? You, you know, it's funny because you know, you know, Scott. Remember Scott that used to work in the barber shop. Mm-hmm. So Scott calls me last night. Scott said, Lamar, I called you because you're the only one that's going to probably understand this. He said, man, we went to the David Chappelle show the other night. And he said, I had my brim on, my suit, my you know, my bow tie and all that. He said, the rest of these fools walking around there with their pants sagging and this, that, and that. He said, man, I fell out of place. He said, I'm going to tell my wife, let's go home. Because <laughs> he said he felt so out of place. He said, man, he said, I could not believe it. He said, it seemed like he was the only one there in a suit. I'm quite sure he wasn't, but I, I'm I know sure the he f- probably was. Yeah, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Probably well, was. I'm saying you might have had somebody had a suit jacket on with slacks or something like that. They probably didn't go as far as the brim and the bow tie and all that. I mean, look at me. I just came from work, and guess what? I'm going back to work. And now <laughs> but I don't have any good. clients today, but I'm in an atmosphere where I see people all the time. I'm in a office suite, but I wear this all the time. And I, cause that's acceptable in society now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now, I don't know why he went to that show with all that on. Yeah, because right? that's Scott. That's oh, Scott. Well, you have to he, know Scott. Then he got it. Then he got and it. I, and I, and my, my thing was him. It, it's kind of, that's the way you felt during what everybody else doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? They might have thought you was an OG or an old pimp or something. <laughs> right. like that. But, hey, if that's your swag, that right. because in today's society, it's about everybody's swag, you know? That's my swag. You know what? Everybody don't dress the same. Everybody don't, you know, do things the same. So, I mean, if that's what you felt, the way you're bramming your suit, and the, hey, you know what I mean? It's right. just good that they didn't spot you and start telling jokes <laughs> on you. You know what I mean? I mean, I like to have swag, too. But my, my kids keep me grounded. Yeah, right. And young. Yeah. That's good. My middle one said, you, you got enough. Yeah, that's all that matters. To like me. my 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 children, when we, they were at that teenager. They used to say, "Dad, you can't wear Nike sneakers and have on Adidas socks." Can't do it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm-hmm. "Shoot, mm-hmm. I've been on this earth a long time. I do what the heck I want to do." <laughs> but that's that they think like you can't mix you can't the, mix the, the mix those things. You know what I mean? Yeah, we had to explain that to my dad hey, too because he did the same thing. Yeah, you sat tripping at that point. You had to tell him. <laughs> Because my dad would do the same thing, and I would say, Dad, you can't do any Adidas and then have Nike and then have, you know, FUBU yeah. on. You'd have to pick your logo. Well, and well, he started, he got better at it. But, you know, you do have to share that with, the you know, yeah, your, 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 your family. Do, do, you, do you think when you're out on the dating scene, people look at you and, and look for that kind of stuff? Yes. yes. 
to look like perception oh, is everything. This they joker got looking. on Adidas shirt with Nike sneakers. Oh on. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's going right in the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bad. That's a bad look. <laughs> bad look. <laughs> yeah. Or, or I might be able to get away with need. Nike, <laughs> Nike group chat. shoes and Under Armour, but even you can't do that anymore. Yeah, you can't. Mm-mm. Under Armour is a clothing. So it's best. So you got Nike sneakers on and you got. You got a uh, Adidas shirt. A, a polo shirt. It's best not to even have a design. I mean, a, yeah. a, a symbol on your shirt if you ain't got. If you don't have a Nike shirt, just wear a polo shirt that don't have nothing on it. A little polo design but, here. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna ding you for that. But I mean, guys, look too. You know, they looking. You got your feet out. Let me see your toenails. Exactly. You know, that's the I'm first thing. First <laughs> thing. <laughs> that's the first thing they look at. <laughs> they looking. The they are thing. looking, and I'm making my business. business. I could be oh. at the grocery store and somebody say, "Girl, let me let, let me see your toes." I go. I, I don't they will look, ask. I, yeah, I look at the face, but I'm looking at this, mm-hmm. and I'm looking at the see. toes. But, the toes yeah. now, now, one one pet peeve for me when I used to be on the dating scene: do not have, especially for women, do not have dirty sneakers on. Oh, that 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 was an automatic turn off for me. Like, you got sneakers on, and you got dirty sneakers on. Come on, you're a female. You ain't supposed to have dirty sneakers on. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And that was that was like a turn off for me. I mean, but I think that we all have certain points that this ain't gonna work for me. You yeah. know what I mean? But I also look at how a woman looks on their bad day. Mm-hmm. No makeup. The I perm done wear it out. You see them with the natural T-shirt, without the perm. Baggy jeans that don't Been fit there. right. Yeah, I, yeah. Been there. <laughs> Because I see the attraction through that. Mm-hmm. I want to see the attraction. Yeah. Through that. I mean, I've been on um, um, life insurance calls, and the guy be like, "I was like, today is not a good day. I just got off work. I know I don't look." He's like, "I wanted to see you like that because yeah. I want to see you looking, no, not as good as you can look. Because then they're like, oh, you still look good even yeah. though you don't. You're not together.' How do you wake up? That's what mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, you like I'm that? very interested in. That. So, 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 and, and this this leads me to my next question: uh, being out there on the dating scene, and you got all the eyelashes, the boobs, the the, the butts, and all the, the, stuff, the, the, the stuff that's not real. How does that affect you or your attraction in the dating world in today's dating world? I think if it if it looks real, the more real it looks, maybe the more, the less I'll let that affect me. Mm. Because you, you see women with the eyelashes all the time, but they're different types. You don't have to have it all look like one. <laughs> so, I, yeah, if it... If it's put together. If it's put together and it looks like that, some real stuff, you can have your behind done, but does it look real? Right, it has to match it your thighs. It it can't be where I hit like you got little thighs. Yeah, I don't like all that. Yeah, I don't I, like all that, and I'm a woman. It's right. look crazy. It, you know, like like Dorshell and I was in a restaurant one day, so it was a table of young guys, and I would probably say they were from the age of about twenty eight to their mid thirties. So we were having this conversation about all the weaves, the makeup, and this, that, and the other, right? These guys had said something that was very profound, right? So I was telling Dorchelle, most men really don't like all that stuff. Most men, most men. So she was like, yeah, they do, yeah, they do. So we went over to this table and started having a conversation with these guys about it. So the guys was like, yeah, I done paid for a few, you know, weeds, hairdos, and all that. He said, but they was, all of them said, but I really don't like it. They really didn't like it, but they paid. But the thing that they say that was very profound their generation grew up with that. Mm-hmm. My generation didn't grow up with all the weeds and the, we grew up with women having afros or, you know, they use that my night in that hot comb to straighten their hair, whatever we didn't. So this generation is accustomed to it. So it's almost like it's natural to mm-hmm. them. You know what I mean? So I guess in a sense of a girl don't have it, you know, you're looking at her like you're all right. <laughs> you know what you I mean? Know, I like, um, also like a Jack of all trades. That means, you look good dressed up. You look good in a hat and no makeup. You look good in dress clothes. You look good in tent. You look good. You look good in a weed with a ponytail coming down. Because that's what I want to do. I don't have to do it. Right. But that's what I want to do. I like that. Right. Yeah. So, so that's good. So so let me ask you this. This is this is for the lady side of the uh, field. Uh, how would y'all feel if 
you know, well, we already know how you feel, Miss Dominic, about the black, the black line on the hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that to me, that's that's the man's version of the eyelashes. You know what I mean? You know, because they getting real true. creative at this point. They getting frontals too. Yeah, so you I know, hey, I mean, whatever. I, I'm gonna say it like this: Whatever makes you feel confident yeah. and comfortable with yourself, but maintain um, it, right? What's yeah, a frontal? That's, it's almost like <laughs> a, a lace. A lace. Oh. It's the new style toupees, though. Like they are making them to the point where they are like blended. You can't even tell, like mm-hmm. to the T, the line up, everything. It, the fade is perfect, and they ball, and they ball. So, so if 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 you were if you were in the dating scene and a guy had a frontal, would you want him to tell you or would you want to find out? You would already know, Dominic. No, not necessarily, because some um, of you... We would have to have that conversation because now we trying to be serious. I need to know that you be balding. I need to know these things. So I, I would want you to be honest about that. How soon... How soon into this dating thing do you need to know he bald is? <laughs> I mean, when he go get the next one, I need to know. You need to be there to see it. <laughs> I need to witness this so I can understand. And I clearly, y'all know I was with the bald head. So, and I'm good right. with that. I don't have a problem. I go from the dreads, the nice cuts, the bald. I don't care. But if you're going to wear that, let me know. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't care. That's right. what you want to do, but you got to let me know. And I want to see you. Mm. Right. So now I can try to buy you some, you know. We can right. try some out. But, yeah, you know. And then you might like them better with a bald head. Right. So, you, you know, know I mean? we might try something else. So what if a man is, attra- you're attracted to a man how they look, but they got it, they're out of shape? Mm. Well, um, I, I had that problem. I, this guy that's really like obese, beast, beast, right? But he has a great personality. Every time we talk on the phone, he's super nice. He got great conversation. But no, but I'm talking can about I, do he I mean, looks from the, the, the face. They he like the, they like the face, but uh, they're, they're out of shape. Yeah, like you know how you how you driving what down kinda, the street. Well, Bob, what kind of out of shape? Are we, we talking Humpty Dumpty, right? No, no. That's but like, my friend. Like, is like he that. has that pop belly you got. Yeah. Yeah. He he don't Listen, exercise. I'm here for it. Are you? I want to. I do want to take you to help him get smaller. What I'm saying, no, he got to help himself. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I'm not. I'm not coming into it with all these stipulations on if I like you, we can go to the gym together. If you want, if that's something that you want to do, I'm open to that. I'm not perfect. You know, you know, it may hang a little here and there. I, I'm not perfect. So I can't come in here expecting you to be that's what true. I'm not. I got that. Oh, okay. So, that's just how I feel. So, so we're going we're gonna to touch a little bit on, on one of your favorite subjects in the dating scene. Uh, you know, because most people, let's let's be real, the expectation of sex got to come somewhere in, in there. Yes. Right? So is there a time limit or is there expectation, you know? if I t- like, like I was telling them last week, Shannon Sharp told the girl, she was he was like, what's taking you so long to order? She was like, mm, I'm trying to see what's going with this lobster. He said a condom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so... Is there a time limit set, or should it ha- happen organically? Yes. You know, or, 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 how, how do you feel about that, Bob? I thought you were asking her first. Well, we're asking, we no, are just no. throwing the question out there. It's, it's a feeling. Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's all about a feeling. I think so. And if I, the more comfortable I am with that person. The more the exciting quicker, it gets. Yes. And the quicker I can <laughs> start talking about it. Okay. Yeah. Or, or instead of talking, you don't want to just start touching and rubbing and see where no. where that's going to take you. Yeah, but sometimes no, because first or second date, you might touch, you might put your hand on it. Well, you can gain, you can understand if that feeling is mutual. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you, it's a feeling that you get. You, mm. you know, every date is different. Right? Every day is different. I mean, some get it on the first night, some yeah. not for me. I'm just saying, some get it on the first day, some get it after the fifth day. It just depends. I remember, you got to ask for it. So, right. so, so, <laughs> what did you think about? Because you know, Mr. Steve Harvey rule is the thirty day rule. I thirty mean, day what? You know, fool. What do you mean for women not to give up the 
good for you know. It don't matter. You could wait ninety days and give it up, and then he out. Then what? You then what? You didn't gave it up. And I mean, I think left. the whole thing is foolish. I mean, but I just I, feel I like on your I, on y'all terms. That's when y'all do it. You feel it, y'all. He feel it. She feel it. Y'all go for it. You know. Yeah, it's feeling. For me. That's it. Because because honestly, the conversation will get you to the bedroom quicker than anything. In my opinion, your mouthpiece. Will work you right into where See, you want to go. I come from that era. I come from that era. You had to have a mouthpiece. Yeah. I wouldn't care. In my era, you could be in the club with some of the biggest bangers and ballers that ever was in the vicinity. If you ain't had that mouthpiece, that money ain't mean nothing. No. You know? Because no. you can't even talk and, to me. You can't talk me out my drawers. What are we doing? Right. It, well, mm. that in today's in today's climate, they don't talk you out of it. They just how much it's gonna cost me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's you so, paying so, for so, now. So, so really? it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, you feel that way too, Bob? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know? Well, I mean, it's, it's just, just like I've been out of the game for a long time. It's touch. It's 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 uh, this. Sometimes I mean, you know. But mm-hmm. it, I mean, because you say, is it really that way? You think about it, the 48 horses. That was about money. You know, you think about the girl that didn't want to get out the car at the Cheesecake Factory. What? Yeah. That's, it's about, so it's about money. It's not about the dynamic that, hey, you know what? Let's he, have a good time. Yeah, let's let's go in and have a good time. Let's have a good conversation. This mm-hmm. is, and like Dominique, like you said earlier, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I can do take you to cheesecake and maybe that can lead to me taking a chateau or something Mm -hmm. like that but you're not even worthy of of cheesecake you won't even get out the car so if i take you up chateau or lawn don't get out the car Mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's the way i feel you know so i i don't know man but i think honestly uh, i feel like everybody's getting saved at this point like if you just you taking these people out and they like "Mm -mm," it's you're being saved you know rejection is not always a bad thing yeah, you know that's a great, great it's redirecting yeah, quick you recover yeah, yeah you know rejection is so just redirecting right yeah right. so yeah. Yeah. it's redirecting you to I, the person I, that you you want to be with opposed uh, me, to somebody just that's just gonna take you know let me ask you this question dominique there's mm-hmm. so many women that i talk to it's like where do you find these guys where are they coming from you seem to always see find somebody. What? Why can't I find somebody? Mm-hmm. What's going on with the women out there that can't seem to find somebody? Well, you know, I know your girlfriends. I know their problem. <laughs> well, do you know they? They don't know. I we ain't gonna say no names, but you know, like we won't say no names. But there's <laughs> one incident where the guy was the the long guy, right? And he would come in and. She, you know, the young lady be like, this is broke, that's broke. And he would come in and fix it and stuff. So one day, this dude was like, man, you know, I understand I mow your lawn as a business, but I come in and fix stuff. And you can't you offer a brother something to eat or something like that? She told Dorchelle, I can't date him. He my lawn guy. What? And then he was like. And then, then tell him about when he hit the lottery. So he was actually a little dark. And she, and probably because he does, you know, yeah, outside work. Son. Right, so he's really a dark-skinned guy, and he wanted to get something to eat one day. And she's like, I'm not going to feed this dude because I'm not interested in him. He's my lawn guy, right? So then uh, I know the guy, too, because I met him, and he actually hit the lottery for a pretty good penny. And so now she's like, I might just give him a date. I'm sure. See, no, but, but then, they, then they, but then they turn to her and ask her, "Why can't I find a good dude?" What I don't even think that, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna say women and men. I don't even think they know what good people are anymore because everything is mostly predicated on materialism. Yeah, and so you attract what you are in a sense, right? So if you set your intention, oh, I want, I want somebody that's gonna do this. They're gonna do this. They're gonna do that. I feel like if your intentions, your your intentions have to be pure, like. For myself, I, I know the type of person that I want. I know the type of person that I see in my future. And it has to make sense. And that person is eventually going to come to me. I'm not going to have to go searching for it. I'm not going to have to do anything extra. They're just going to be right there. It's just going to... And that's how I feel. I'm real spiritual. So I, I kind of take a different take on that right. kind of situation. But I feel like we're, you have to get yourself aligned with what you want. But you have to be realistic, and I feel like sometimes a lot of us are not realistic. Like even with the guys, I have I had a guy friend, and we, you know, he attempted I guess to date me. But I was like, you know, you are handsome. Every every girl I know wants you. I don't though. I don't I don't want you because you don't you don't match me, and you are the what you want. I would never be able to give you 
because it, it doesn't to me it doesn't make sense right you want this five nine stallion of a woman i'm a pony I'm all of five three, okay. That's it for me. <laughs> so it, 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 we didn't, we're not here. You know, you want a woman that's going just be your servant. Perfect. I'm she, never here. Yeah, you perfect. want a perfect person, and so it will never work for us. So don't even try to date me because it doesn't make sense. And that's because you know who you are. I know who I am. Right. But so, you know what? If um, if they're looking for that perfect person, that means they're not aligned. Exactly. Right. I, I agree with that. They got issues. That yes. You're not gonna find out real quick about and then they'll never uh, appreciate who you are because they's looking for something else Mm -hmm. and and I think I think in today's world people can play the game for a long time they will I'll put it that way they're willing to play the game for a long time until they can get what they want out of it and then they are gone you know and you know I, I think you know what the both of you guys you know with having children in life, you got to be extra protective of you and your children because eventually, if you get with somebody and you feel like, okay, I'm 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 vibing with this person, and now I'm beginning to bring them around my children. You know what I mean? That's a tough thing to yeah, me. I, that's, I haven't even got close. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I yeah, the kid thing is different. It does take a little bit more time. Um, you really have to vet that individual. Um, yeah. I don't date people without kids anymore because I've learned my lesson. How about people with nine year olds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? How you feel? I like all the, I like all, all the gifts that Christmas time. <laughs> I used to feel guilty saying I don't want to date anybody who doesn't have kids, but I no, I think they need. I need somebody who has. So they'll better they understand you. Out of the household, huh? They will better understand you. I think so. Would you say you want them oh, to be sure. out of the household? No, even if the child's in college or oh. they they're not far from understanding what it takes to raise a child. Or to be in a relationship with a child. Yes. Yeah, I understand what yeah. you're saying. I mean, because when you date someone without kids and y'all know I just learned my lesson. Um, it's different. It is definitely different trying to get you to understand what my what my level of life looks like opposed to yours when you're still free to do whatever you want. You know, you have time to do it. I don't. You know, I have to make sure my child is taken care of. And, you know, I got to call out of work when she's sick. And I have to do those things. And all my money can't go to whatever. I got to make and sure. And then she- you can't be impulsive sometimes. Right. I can't be spontaneous. And, and that was what I heard a lot in my relationship. Oh, and, and after we had been in it for as long as we were, well... You didn't really get to see the the real me because we couldn't be spontaneous because you didn't have a babysitter. And I'm like, well, you knew my situation before we got this far. Well, you in a relationship, so we didn't have a babysitter. Right. But for you to say, well, we can't be spontaneous because you don't have a babysitter. But it's like we had we communicated enough for you to know my situation. You know, it, and it's another <laughs> thing that I always say, and I tell my daughters this, in the dating scene nowadays... And I tell all, a lot of young ladies this. It's good to let, you know, because you know, some people are like, well, I don't want you to meet him. I don't want you to. But you need to let that joker know there's some men in your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because the mentality that people have nowadays, mm-hmm. if they know, okay, I ain't in this by myself. And if something goes south, you done seen them dudes this in my life, and they love and care about me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because it's it's... It's the same thing with men too. You gotta you gotta let them know, hey, there's people in my life to care about me, you know what? So I think that when you get out there on that dating scene, yeah, you filling the people out, but I think it's good that you take somebody that knows you and they feel that person out too because they know who you are. You know what I mean? Because I think that sometimes when you yearn for something, you you tend to overlook things or you overshadow things, you know. And that person that's around you might can say, well, we know your situation, and we called it out, and thank Uncle Lamar for helping you. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things my dad told me when I was dating was to be approachable. And a lot of women aren't approachable. They, mm, what are you looking at me for, you know, or have an attitude? I don't know if you've gone through that, Bob, but, you know, a lot of women are not approachable. And I try to tell my girlfriends, like, well, when you go to the store, whenever you run and get gas, just be approachable. Just... Be open. I, I, I think that you're right on that because I know one day I was in Walmart 
and this young lady, you know, how they wear the real tight jeans, and they think they money down in their jeans. I was, I was just, hey, miss, you know, I was just trying to tell her money grade faller. She caught straight attitude with me, right? I said, I should have walked behind you until it fell out and picked it up and kept going. But she caught straight attitude with me. What happened? No, I just, man, your money, all I was doing, all I'm doing is telling you your money was getting me to fall out your pants, you know, out your pocket. That's all I was going to tell you. I wasn't trying to holler at you or nothing. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but I did not, I took it in my mind, she probably had lots of guys that approach her or she in a relationship and mad with the dude, so she going to take it out on everybody, right? But my thing is, all I was doing is, whoa. Well, hey, that's, trying- that's, a, that's a true statement. Because I know for myself when I go out, and not that I'm rude or nasty, because right. people are crazy and they will try to shoot you. But I'm very <laughs> mindful. All right, Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to do this? <laughs> you know, it's just it's one of those things where I am approached. People are hollering at me and whistling at me, and I just I do. I come in there with a whole straight face, like I got an attitude, and I be like, "Hey, how y'all doing?" The sweetest thing ever. But I, it, it sometimes it is hard being approachable. It's hard, and then you don't really you don't want to be so approachable because then everybody wants to approach you, and it's like, and that's I mean, and if you're no. dating, if you're trying to find somebody, why no, not? I don't I don't want everybody to think that they can approach me though. So I'm not just hey hey I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I just that's just not for me. No, that's good me. to know because <laughs> I, I had that. I've run into people who you don't want to who don't want to approach who you don't want to approach because they're they're standoffish, right? But um. Mm-hmm. Not in general, though. Just maybe at a a restaurant or a bar. Sometimes I I run into where they're not approachable. I, I, not I, a lot. I got a good question for you, Bob, because I hear this a lot from women when you know whether they on these TV shows trying to find a man or like you said online and this and that and other. And most women say this, and I'm asking you, do you find this to be true? They always say. I'm looking for somebody that can make me laugh. So am I. <laughs> so, so, am so, I. so do you think humor, that humor that you have can take you, uh, how far do you think, think that can take you? I think it's a positive. I think it's, uh, I think it counts. To have humor. Yes. Yeah, most women want to but, 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 but you got to have, most you have good humor. You can't have dry humor. No. Because I got, I always got something to say. Like, so, like, like you said, hey, we can go in this restaurant. Or I can get my. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna leave you with the decision. So I don't I was, know. Do you know Avery that come and get his hair cut? Avery. Sounds yeah, like yeah, I you seen that. So Avery always cracks on me. Every time we're together, I mean, I could try to do the dozens with him, but he always come hard, right? So he makes me laugh. So I think Avery is a very good example of somebody who's. Who would put you in the approachability, you know? Because you have to, as a man, I feel like you have to be the first person to. No, I don't think I. I, I, I don't believe that. The and, and see, I think because the dynamics of things have changed so much. I think if a woman see a man and she feel like you know somebody want to know, shot? it should. I mean, yeah. You think so? I don't. I, I, don't, I don't, don't think that. I, mean, I didn't shot my shot. Now I don't shoot it. I don't shoot. Well, it I'm all. saying it's a different kind of shot that When's you shoot. When's the last time you shot your shot? Oof. Uh, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Love connection. You know, um, it's been a while, it's been a while since I shot the shot. The last time I shot the shot, the shot shot me back, and we broke up. But you know, I, I so you shot your shot with that one. I did. I actually shot the shot, and not intentionally. I was like, "Oh, you smell good. You got on Versace," and he was like. Yeah, and we we didn't talk for a whole year, and then boom, it just happened. That that Versace like loomed around. In your I nostril. love a man that smells good, and so he just you know he he was he was very professional in what he did, and so for me, I'm just I'm me. When you know who I am and my personality, I'm just me. Especially when you like around me, and you really get to know me. And so I was like, yeah. you know, thank you, thank you for this was cool. You know, when are you gonna have everything? And I was like, you smell really good. I said that's Versace. And he was like, <laughs> what you got on, Bob? I couldn't tell you. Boot by Fabergé. <laughs> it might be. It might be. Oh, oh, English. Let's see, y'all. I Let's see. My son. Mm-mm. What you smell, Dominique? I don't know that one. Oh, in, oh, I don't oh, know that one. Well, I'm usually right. good with it, but I don't know that one. You don't. Do you know Spanish? A little bit. Me gustas too. 
Hold on, my ears went out. Um, no, I don't know that one. <laughs> but, um, my ears went out. So, could you tell us what it means? Uh, mm. Well, you'll tell us off air what it means. <laughs> Magustas too. Magusta. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like nowadays we are shooting our shots because honestly, like I said, I think I might have said this on another show. A lot of these guys are real sassy, so you know we gotta now. And I don't like it because I feel like you y'all are the hunters. Y'all supposed to come to us and, and get us. That's how I feel. Be coming to get y'all. I but heard that the other day. I, that's how I feel though. I feel the same way. But I, like, I, but I, I want but I that do, person to be into me. Yeah, I want you to. I want to know that you are into me because I feel like the ones that I have shot the shot at. I mean, outside of that one, mm-hmm. um, it didn't go well. It was. But, just, but, but you know what? I think society. And that's because they say I'm not approachable because I always look mean or whatever. But again, it, it's not nothing. It's not that I'm being mean. I just. I'm trying to go to the grocery store and get out of. You because, know, I'm, I'm moving. I, I, I think that because. When you use the word masculinity, I think people take it out of its content. And the thing about it, I think a lot of guys now, they don't know about masculinity, don't know about being a man. You know, like you say, they they so bougie they, 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 or sassy, and they take on all these feminine ways and because society has made them think that masculinity is a bad thing. You know what I mean? I don't even think it's all, all that. I just right. feel like... They and I'm not saying you can't be the prize as a man. That's not what I'm saying. But I am going to say it in that way. It's like uh, you need to sweat me. You need to be on me. You, I am. And do you I'm think that's? Do you think that's because of the the number ratio of uh, women yeah. that outnumber yeah. men? Yeah, because I, I yeah I've oh, experienced okay. that for myself. And I say this to you again. I feel like even though you have that ratio of women that outnumber men, I think women play themselves. And what I mean by women play themselves is because you sit back and you're more of a controller than what you realize. Mm -hmm. But if you sit back and settle for it, you know what I mean? Then you're going to get what you settle for, you know? So, so you got to, in a sense, just like you just said, you got to realize you are the prize. Mm -hmm. You are the prize. No matter, you know, it's, it's almost like Christmas. You know, you, you have five or six packages under there that got your name on it, but it's one package that catch your eye more than anything, means more than you, because that's the prize. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like if you were expecting a diamond ring or or a diamond brooch or something for Christmas, and you know what? You got a sweater, you got some boots, you got this, and then you open that box and you see this diamond. Mm-hmm. That sets it off, right? That's the prize. Everything else don't even matter. You happy you got it, but it really doesn't matter. And that's the way you got to look at yourself. I think a lot of women, you know, it's just like for us as men, uh, uh, in today's, I'm going to say in today's climate, a lot of women leave nothing to the imagination. So when we hunting, you know what I mean, we we, we don't have to shoot it and skin it. It's already skinned. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But you used to have to shoot something, skin it, you know, cook it and do it and do all that. You ain't got to do all that now because it's out there. You know, mm-hmm. you, you go on Instagram, Facebook, and all these other social media. I mean, I don't know where it got to the point that women feel like they have to show their ass to get a man, you know? Or I got to reveal everything to get a man. That That's, I, I, I can honestly say, and I don't know if you would agree with me or not, really, men don't even want women like that to be their woman. Would you agree, Bob? It, I don't know. The only thing that was on my mind is um, I was with a woman for a couple months. And it just stopped. We can go into reasons why, but it just stopped. But she needed me for work. So I helped her get interviews with a couple of real estate brokers. So she came into the office. And uh, first thing I said is, so what happened to you? And she said, well, aren't you supposed to chase me? I said, you believe everything on the Internet? (laughs) So I said, I don't know. Not supposed to chase you. I said, I'm supposed to hunt you. And I said, but it seems like I'm chasing you. Right. That 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 deep. I said, and I just feel like I'm chasing a ghost. That means when I get there, ain't nothing gonna happen. So that's why I stopped. Mm. Mm, The dating scene is crazy now. It's a wild ride. It's it's gotta be. It, It it is. 
so, is. So we're going to say this. We're going to uh, say, hey, if you get on that ride, know what ride you are riding. Get on the merry-go-round, <laughs> make sure it's stopped. You know, get to the top, view what's all this out there. You know, but... Um, we, you know, we we like, you know, want to thank y'all for listening to this part three on dating. Uh, uh, we know it's a little rough here in Atlanta dating, um, you know, because the the ratio of this and that and the other, you know. <laughs> so we want to thank you guys from listening to People Think About It. You can listen to People Think About It dot com and hear our uh, shows every Wednesday at eight p.m. We we post a new episode. You can you can donate to uh, People Think About It dot com. Uh, you can go there and donate. You can uh, reach out to us at people think about it at gmail.com. Uh, listen to our podcast every Wednesday. Um, and we want to just thank our co host, Dominique. Uh, we want to thank Ms. Dorshell, Mr. Bob, for coming in and sharing his experiences in this dating scene out here. So we just want to say, y'all, keep listening to people think about it. And, uh, Be sure to subscribe to the show and share it with your friends so that you never miss an episode. A new episode drops every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to People Think About It.